Hey guys, I'm Nick, aka the one only Nick's Games, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to run Minecraft 1.7.5 faster with no lag. So first things first, I do want to say this will be using Optifine, and if you guys want to know how to install Optifine, you can check out the first thing in the description. You can check out the top right hand corner of this video, there is an annotation there if you have annotations on, as well as at the end of this video, there is an annotation to a video that will step by step tell you how to install Optifine. Nevertheless, I am going to show you some things real quick at the beginning of this video that you can do if you have Optifine already installed or do not want to install Optifine. However, Optifine it will help you a ton, and if you are still having lag and you haven't tried to install Optifine, I can't help you at all in the comments because that's the first thing I'm going to ask and tell you to do. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and go up here to our taskbar, right click on it, and click Start Task Manager. It is then going to open up something that looks like this. You will see Java W, Java W twice. This is Minecraft. However, one of them you do not need at all. And as you can see, the second one is also taking up memory. And the second one is what we don't need. So right click on that se second Java W.exe and click in process. It will then come up with something like this and click in process again. Now, there are other things that you can close out of here that will benefit you. For example, if you have Google Chrome and Chrome is open, you're going to see Chrome.exe here. You probably don't need Chrome open while playing Minecraft, and it is taking quite a bit of PC usage to run Chrome. So let's go ahead and in-process tree on that one, in-process tree, and it will shut down Google Chrome on your computer. You can go through here, and there are other things. For example, my, my online cloud storage client and things like that are here as well but just look through this be very careful and shut down processes that you don't think need to be open also when you first open up your task manager it may look something like this we don't want this we want to click processes right here to then see that second Java W after you've done that we can go into Optifine and start maximizing your Optifine settings so you've downloaded Optifine and you need to maximize those settings well here you go first off on the main menu don't even go into game to do this go to options and video settings this is where Optifine has all of its stuff okay this is where everything in Optifine is Optifine does nothing else but add this and if you press control in game it zooms in on things that's it Everything else stays the same in Minecraft, so we need to go through and optimize your Optifine, these settings. So first off, graphics. You want that to be fast, render distance. We're going all the way down because guess what? That's going to give you the best performance. Also, smooth lighting does not need to be maximum. It needs to be off, and then smooth lighting level all the way off. Frame rate. Now, this depends on what you're doing. For example, for Minecraft recording, I typically put it at 30 FPS because that is where I record anyway. If you have a decent computer or you want to go over that or aren't recording or something like that, you can go up to Unlimited or you can leave it at V-Sync. What V-Sync is, it basically finds where your frame rate fluctuates and it goes right in the middle of that and stabilizes it there. For the average player, V-Sync is probably what you're going to want to go with, but just figure out what is best for you, test that out, and see what works. View bombing doesn't matter. GUI scale auto is where I keep it. That also doesn't matter. Advanced open GL doesn't matter. And brightness also does not matter. You can have it all the way down. You can have it all the way up. Does not matter. So now, chunk loading. What this is, is it basically defines how chunks on Minecraft, how blocks on Minecraft are loaded on your computer. So... What you need if you have a multi-core processor, so that's going to be an, a du core, core 2 Duo, that's going to be an i5, an i6, an i7, they don't make an i6, my bad, an i7, things like that, that is going to be multi-core. If you have a single core processor, a Pentium or something like that, you want to go for smooth. I have a multi-core processor, so I'm going to go for multi-core. If you do not have a multi-core processor, you want to go smooth, and that is how that works. You're going to have to figure out which one you have yourself. I can help you a little bit if you ask me in the comment section down below, but at the same time, it really just depends on the computer, and I would recommend you taking that, you looking at it, and you figuring out what works best for you. Fog off doesn't matter. Fog start doesn't matter. Server textures, this can help you on servers. If um, you have issues lagging on servers, you can turn this off. If you do not have issues lagging on servers, you can leave that on. I'm going to leave that on. Now, if we go into quality, minimap levels doesn't matter, this doesn't matter, this doesn't matter, this doesn't matter. Here we go, this stuff matters. Clear water on, clear water off. Some people say this hurts performance if it's on. I personally like it on, 
So I'm going to leave it on. However, I would recommend turning it off if you do have performance issues on Minecraft. Random mobs, it's going to be off. You're going to have better grass off, 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 off. All of that needs to be turned off. After that, we need to go down here to details. Basically, it's either fast or off on this page. You can copy that. Um, clouds, trees, water, grass, rain, and snow are all fast. Sky, stars, sun and moon, snow caves, depth of fog are all off. Held item tool tips, that's up to you. I personally leave that on. Transparent blocks or translucent blocks and dropped items both fast. On to animations. This one's really easy. Go down here to the bottom and click all off. That will then get you good on that. Click done and then go to other. This is kind of dependent on what you want to do. So lagometer, I keep that off, off. Weather on. I personally love weather on Minecraft. And I do Minecraft Let's Plays and it kind of adds into that and gives me stuff to talk about. But if you want Minecraft to run faster, weather will slow it down. So turn that off if you want to run Minecraft extremely fast. Time, leave that default full screen off. By the way, full screen will hurt your FPS, so you do not want to play Minecraft full screen. Full screen mode default, 3D L graphic off, autosave. So, autosave typically in Minecraft happens every two seconds, which will lag a lot, okay? It will lag a lot, but if you can change that, which Optifine gives you the option to, do it. I use it at three minutes because I don't want to lose more than three minutes of what I'm doing in game. So it, that means it saves every three minutes and the most I can lose in Minecraft is three minutes of what I've been doing because it dies because of lag. However, if you want to be more risky, you can go up to 30 minutes or even, okay, so 30 minutes and that's going to reduce lag a lot, but you can possibly lose up to 30 minutes of, of what you've been doing in Minecraft if your computer shuts down or if Minecraft crashes or something like that happens. So that's why I recommend three minutes because that's safe and that's where everything needs to go. Once you've done that, click done and guess what? You're ready to go off and play Minecraft. Now, I'm not going to show you my FPS in game here because it will be lagging because I'm recording in 1080p and everything like that. However, what I will do is start up a game and include a screenshot on the screen right now of my FPS. And as you can see, that is very, very good. It's running very, very fast and Minecraft is running amazingly. So nevertheless, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It really does help me out. And if you have any issues with any of this, let me know in the comment section down below and I will be happy to help you out. I'm Nix Games and I'm out guys. Peace. And here's some videos you guys probably want to go check out. On the left is Crisis Craft, which is my weekly Minecraft series in which I play Minecraft 1.7.5 or the newest version of Minecraft. And I build things, I find things, I explore, I survive. It's awesome. Go check it out if you like this video. If you like Minecraft videos, you will love that video. Also, check out on the right how to install Optifine. So this video shows you how you can use Optifine, but it won't help you at all if you don't have Optifine already installed. So go Figure out how to install it to find there, then come back to this video and boom, you're ready to go. Also, check out the daily vlogs and the bombs of your screen, which I document every single day of my life. And they're really, really good. Go check them out. Anyway, guys, I'm Nick's Games, and I'm out. Peace.